A 50 cent coin adds to a priceless piece of history for archaeologists who say they found the home of Harriet Tubman's father, Ben Ross, in Dorchester County. And this to me was my clue that we're getting close. Marked 1808, that's the year Tubman's parents were married and began their family, according to the chief archaeologist for Maryland's Transportation Department. We're finding drawer pulls from his, his bureau. We're finding a button from his shirt. We're finding pipe bowls and pipe stems from what he smoked. All that in this location. The location is a 2,600 acre site that was bought by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 2020 as an addition to Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge. And just in time, as the river rises, invaluable bits of the story were about to be lost forever. The property contains 10 acres that was left for Ben Ross in the will of his slaveholder. For several years, we believe that. Mr. Ross harvested trees on the property and sold the timber. And the timber was then transported to shipyards by free black mariners. It's only the beginning of digging up evidence. What we know so far is we know where X marks the spot. We know where Ben Ross lived. That's the first step and that was a big one. But now our job is to excavate more of that site to learn what he had in that building. How big was that structure? How long did he live there for? Tubman was born into slavery, escaped, and then returned to bring others to freedom. The Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center tells her story. Tubman's great 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 grandniece, Tina Wyatt, is happy to see her family's history preserved. When well, she talked about the pipe, you know, I mean, that was so, I could just envision him. With that pipe. Dr. Julie Shablitsky says the building was made of wood and sitting on bricks, pieces of it were also unearthed. And this was really the opportunity she had to learn about the wetlands and the woods and how to survive and navigate through here. And we believe that this sort of experience really was able to benefit her when she began to move people to freedom. It may be new to learn the Maryland Department of Transportation has an archaeologist on staff so projects don't disturb history. The whole archaeology team plans to go back with the hope of finding more pieces to the story. The announcement wasn't held on that property, they say because the swampy land is not easy to get to. But eventually, they want to make it accessible to the public along with these artifacts. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.